Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. In the vast landscape of human innovation, few inventions have had as profound an impact on society as the camera. From its humble beginnings as a simple device capturing fleeting moments to the sophisticated digital marvels of today, the evolution of camera technology is a testament to humanity's relentless pursuit of visual expression. Join us on a journey through time as we unravel the fascinating history of how cameras have transformed the way we capture images. The story of how cameras capture images traces its roots back to ancient civilizations where the earliest attempts at understanding optics laid the groundwork for future innovations. Ancient Greeks and Chinese philosophers delved into the principles of light and vision, setting the stage for the development of visual technology. However, it wasn't until the Renaissance era that significant strides were made in the field with the emergence of the camera obscura. The camera obscura, a precursor to modern cameras, functioned on the basic principles of light and reflection. Early pioneers like Leonardo da Vinci and Johannes Kepler experimented with primitive camera designs, utilizing pinholes to project inverted images onto surfaces. These early explorations laid the foundation for the development of more sophisticated imaging devices in the centuries to come. The true birth of photography as we know it today occurred in the 19th century with the invention of the daguerreotype by French artist Louis Daguerre. Introduced to the world in 1839, the daguerreotype marked a revolutionary moment in visual history. This groundbreaking technique relied on exposing light-sensitive, silver-coated copper plates to create detailed and intricate images. By capturing the interplay of light and shadow, Photographers were able to immortalize moments in time with unprecedented precision and clarity. The daguerreotype sparked a global fascination with photography, prompting further experimentation and refinement of photographic processes. Throughout the 19th century, photographers explored alternative methods of image capture, including wet plate collodion and albumin prints, each offering unique advantages and challenges. Wet plate collodion photography developed by Frederick Scott Archer in the 1850s quickly became a popular alternative to earlier photographic processes due to its improved image clarity and shorter exposure times. The process involved coating a glass plate with a mixture of collodion, a syrupy solution of nitrocellulose, and light-sensitive silver salts. This plate was then sensitized by immersing it in a solution of silver nitrate, making it light-sensitive. The plate had to remain wet throughout the entire process, hence the name wet plate collodion. Once sensitized, the wet plate was exposed in the camera while still damp, requiring relatively short exposure times compared to earlier processes. After exposure, the plate was immediately developed by pouring a developer solution over it, which revealed the latent image. The developed plate was then fixed to halt further development, rinsed and dried. Wet plate collodion photography offered photographers greater control over exposure and development compared to earlier processes, resulting in sharper and more detailed images. Albumin prints, on the other hand, emerged as a popular method for producing photographic prints from wet plate collodion negatives. This process involved coating paper with a solution of egg white, albumin, and salt, which acted as a binder for light-sensitive silver salts. The paper was then sensitized by floating it on a solution of silver nitrate, making it light sensitive. After exposure and contact with the negative, the paper was developed using a solution of gallic acid and silver nitrate, which revealed the latent image. The print was then fixed in a solution of sodium thiosulfate to stop further development and rinsed to remove any residual chemicals. The resulting albumin print exhibited rich tonal range and sharp detail making it a preferred method for producing photographic prints during the latter half of the 19th century. 
Both wet plate collodion and albumen prints played significant roles in the advancement of photography during the 19th century. While wet plate collodion enabled photographers to produce high quality negatives with relatively short exposure times, albumen prints allowed for the mass production of photographic prints from these negatives. These techniques laid the groundwork for subsequent developments in photographic technology, paving the way for the modern photographic processes we use today. The late 19th and early 20th centuries witnessed rapid advancements in camera technology, most notably with the introduction of flexible film. Pioneered by George Eastman, the founder of Kodak, Flexible film offered photographers unprecedented flexibility and convenience. The roll film revolutionized photography, making it accessible to amateur enthusiasts and professional photographers alike. With the advent of various film formats such as 35mm and medium format, artists were empowered to explore new creative possibilities and push the boundaries of visual storytelling. The transition from film to digital photography marked another significant milestone in the evolution of camera technology. The invention of the CCD sensor in 1969 by Willard Boyle and George E. Smith paved the way for digital imaging, enabling images to be captured and stored in electronic format. However, it wasn't until the 1990s that digital cameras became commercially viable, offering users the ability to capture edit and share images with unprecedented ease and convenience. In the 21st century, the proliferation of smartphones has democratized photography like never before. With built-in cameras capable of capturing high-quality images and videos, smartphones have become the primary tool for everyday photography. Social media platforms like Instagram and Snapchat have further accelerated the democratization of photography allowing users to share their images with the world instantly. But how does this simple thing of technology actually capture images in the modern era? The process begins with light entering the camera through the lens, where it converges to form an image on the image sensor. Each pixel on the sensor is sensitive to light and captures photons, with color filters allowing for the reproduction of a full spectrum of colors. Analog to digital conversion transforms the captured light information into digital data, which is then processed by the camera's internal algorithms to enhance quality and apply effects. Once processed, the images are stored on a memory card or internal storage, ready to be shared, printed, or further edited. As we look to the future, the evolution of camera technology shows no signs of slowing down. Advancements in artificial intelligence computational photography, and augmented reality promise to redefine the way we capture and experience images. From autonomous drones capturing aerial vistas to wearable cameras recording life's most intimate moments, the possibilities are endless. The history of how cameras capture images is a testament to human ingenuity and creativity. From the humble beginnings of the camera obscura to the digital marvels of today, the evolution of camera technology has transformed the way we see and experience the world around us. As we continue to push the boundaries of what is possible, one thing remains clear. The journey of capturing moments is an ongoing and ever-evolving process, driven by our insatiable curiosity and desire to preserve the beauty of life for generations to come. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.